Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Ben Buys Beverages. It is way early in the morning, like 4.05 a.m. And I am up this early because I've got three hours of traveling so I can do some presentation for work. So I figured I'd try out a new product that I picked up, a beverage, but a non-alcoholic one because I'm going to work, not because I have anything against alcohol first thing in the morning. Now, what I have today is this. Instant coffee from Nescafe, three-in-ones. Opening it up, this is what they look like. So, I'm gonna try to open this with one hand. I'm gonna shift hands for the camera here and actually do some propping. Which ain't working. <laughs> I'll just open up. All right. There we go. I don't know if you can see it well. There we go. It's that color because it's instant coffee, it's sugar, and it's some type of sweetener. And the labeling promises rich aroma. So I'm gonna stir it up and then talk while it settles, steeps. I'm not sure what the uh, proper verb is for powder going into water and turning into something drinkable. All right, it's stirred up. It smells like instant coffee. Mmm. Look in the spoon. It tastes pretty good. But while I'm going to let it set for a minute, and while I do so, I want to point out that I learned about these three-in-ones from some camping video I, I watched. Uh, probably Corporal Corner or, or Steve Wallace. And yes, I watch camping videos. Mostly because I'm very particular about my camping. I need the weather to be cool and dry. And unfortunately, here in Alabama, that too often coincides with a wide variety of mandatory social events. So I don't get to go camping nearly as much as I have in the past. So anyhow, I'll, I'll run links to both of those uh, videos in the comments. And before I get started and taste this stuff, I do want to ask everyone to please don't forget to subscribe and hit the, the like button. Thank you. Um, anyhow, I can't help but notice that all the packaging is in Cyrillic, which implies to me that this is either meant for sale in Russia or in Ukraine or maybe one or two other countries that also use the Cyrillic alphabet. So, if, if it is for Russia, it no doubt tastes like tyranny and despair and depression and fear. But if it's marketed for Ukraine, I strongly suspect it's going to taste like hope and victory and, and leaders with character. So, I think I've talked enough. So, let's give this stuff a try, shall we? Yes, I prefer my puns intended. It's not bad. I mean, it would no doubt taste a whole lot better out of a steel canteen cup with water boiled over an open fire and the cold air. But beggars can't be choosers. I will definitely make use of this and I will drink it again, despite being flavored coffee. Because typically I'm a black coffee only kind of guy. But anyhow, Nescafe 3-in-1 Classic. Uh, it comes in four other flavors, it looks like. We shall see if I try those. But anyhow, good morning and cheers. <laughs> 